Hey y'all, it's Paula, no Billy Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry, I got a little bit of water on my tabletop here. Um, welcome back to my channel, y'all. I got an unboxing to do here. A pretty special unboxing. This is a plant that I have been looking for for a little while. And it's a really pretty Paula Pink kind of plant <laughs> so I hope you guys like it as well as I do so I was really really anxious when I seen that Tony from uh, the tiny jungle let's talk plants had this plant so I was like gotta have it gotta have it gotta gotta have it and I knew too that getting it from him it was gonna be a good plant so I didn't have to worry about that. Only question is, is these boxes. <laughs> I am not so good at opening these boxes. These one triangle ones like this just like to fight me for some reason. Cause I don't, I mean, I, know, I think like they're like, you have one on one, one on each end and then you kind of open them through the middle kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> but I do know it's kind of a tall plant, so I, I understand why he had to box it this way. It's all good. I'll get into it one way or another. If I have to have uh, bloody stumps <laughs> doing it. <laughs> so, but I hope everybody's having a great day. I just got done doing bunches of flushes. I really, really flushed my plants really well. Haha. -ha. They really needed it, especially my phalaenopsis because I had increased their calcium, magnesium. I had been doing the Epsom soap, Epsom soap, <laughs> the Epsom salts and CalMag soaps on them. So anytime, anytime you do like a 300 parts per million soak on a plant like that, you really should flush, 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 because even if they use a decent portion of it, you don't want anything in there turned into salts so that it kills the roots on your plants so you you know that's definitely definitely what you do not want to happen so I definitely I wanted to went, went ahead you know flushed my fowls and everybody else needed flushed and the masks and stuff cleaned on them they don't like algae so much either so I was definitely getting some algae build up so everybody got a good flush and I had to wait <laughs> I had to do some flushing, uh, use all the hot water, and then wait for some more hot water. And so it's just been a chore, for sure. So, yeah, since I said, pretty tall little plant, so I knew that box was perfect for shipping it. So, once you see these little blooms, you guys, which this one's not in bloom. I don't think it's their time to bloom yet cute little pink blooms just like I said definitely a Paula type plant you'll be thrilled to see it too I hope but Tony has the best little plants and he has he's been running some really great sales I've been trying to post sales when he does them he had one Thursday one Friday flash sales so anytime that he has flash sales jump in there because it's well worth oh yep he gave me some more codes too uh extra 15 percent off let's talk 15 on ebay and let's talk plants on etsy let's talk 15 for 15 percent off and the tinyjungle.com 10% off. So jump right in there, y'all. Get you some good plants. He's gotten in some really great things lately. I go through his stuff and I'm just like drooling. 
It's time to break out the bib. He had one last night. <clears throat> it was a beautiful cat lay, and I was like, I was like, oh mercy, you got one of them. It's gorgeous. So there we go, peekaboo. I see you. We have. Try to make sure my knife don't roll away. We have Dendrobium Bracteosum crossed with tan tana tani tana. Cute little pink flowers, y'all. So cute. Absolutely. Nice, nice plant. Roots are coming out the top there. So definitely a little dry, which I mean, it's good to ship them dry anyway. So definitely be giving her a nice little welcome cocktail drink of cow mag and sea kelp. Oh, got to be careful in little tiny roots. They're all over the place. <laughs> little tiny baby roots. I don't want to damage them. My eBay tape is some sticky stuff. It's sticking to me even. <laughs> oh, mercy. There we go. I'll definitely give her a drink. Uh, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure when their bloom season is, but we'll have some beautiful, beautiful pink little, uh, it's pink little clusters blooms. So I don't know too, this might be one that might be better mounted than potted, so we might have to do that as well. But nice little plant, and that would be, she probably would be a nice one to mount really well. But look at all the nice little roots. Definitely a little thirsty gal though, but I'll definitely put up a bloom for you to see what she looks like and see why I had to have her, you guys. Nice, nice plant, but go check out the Tiny Jungle Let's Talk Plants on eBay and Etsy and his website definitely definitely worth buying Tony has the some really nice plants y'all really nice so with that said go check them out and go do some shopping and bye for now y'all till we meet again